traditionally go to a doctor, a practitioner, and we go, I'm tired or I'm, I'm, you know, amped up and anxious and I can't sleep. They're like, well, this is the traditional model. If it's not Addison's and it's not Cushing's, then you're considered normal. There's, there's no gray area in between. But of course, I'd like to propose in our functional endocrinology model that there's actually a lot of gray area. Um, I just happen to color it red and orange uh, as opposed to gray. So yes, you can have Addison's and Cushing's, but you can kind of move into this adaptive state cortisol on either end. And then you can move into like low cortisol, but it's not Addison's. And you can move into high cortisol, but it's not Cushing's. And so by recognizing this, it can be really helpful in helping your, your patients and clients as to what's going on. So we want to properly identify Addison's and Cushing's. Don't miss that. But really, it's generalized HPA dysfunction that we are going to see on the day-to-day -day and that we are going to work with when our, with our patients and clients.